Hi, I'm Philip Gadsden, Director of Seafood for Harris Teeter. In this video, our chefs are going to be preparing lemongrass scallops on a bed of tropical coconut rice, created with Kim Crawford Savion Blanc. For this recipe, we are using sea scallops from the Fisherman's Market at Harris Teeter. Scallops, with their sweet, rich taste, are great in this recipe. Our primary source for scallops is from the north to mid-Atlantic region of the United States. The East Coast Scallop Fishery is one of the best managed scallop fisheries in the world. At Harris Teeter, we only source scallops from fisheries that are well managed to ensure that we have scallops for generations to come. Coupled with the scallops, this recipe also features a great wine, Kim Crawford Savion Blanc. This New Zealand wine has a delicate flavor of tropical fruit, citrus, and passion fruit, and it's not only an important ingredient for this recipe, but it also makes a perfect complement to make a perfect meal. Hi, I'm Chef David with Harris Teeter. I've got some great ingredients to work with today. I've got a Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc and sea scallops that just look beautiful that can be found in our fisherman's market. This is wonderful items that I can work with. I'm gonna start off by making a coconut rice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat my pan and I'm gonna add a little bit of spicy stir-fry oil. And to that, I'm gonna add my leeks, a little bit of garlic, and then my rice. I'm gonna try and get all of this rice just covered with the oil so that it doesn't stick together later in the recipe. You're gonna to wanna to move the rice around and just roast it a little bit. This always helps in the production of rice or the making of rice from it sticking and cooking evenly. To this, I'm gonna add three cups of Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc, carrots, and a cup of coconut milk. I use the light coconut milk. I find it works well for this recipe. I'm gonna bring this back up to a boil, and then I'm gonna reduce it to a simmer, put the lid on, and then we're gonna start working on the scallops. Okay, we've got some beautiful sea scallops here. We're gonna let our pan get hot. We're gonna add our stir fry oil. And I use uh, the spicy pepper stir fry oil just to give a little bite to this dish. It works really well with the coconut. Then what I'm gonna do is I've laid out my scallops here just to dry them a little bit on a paper towel. And we're gonna gingerly turn them over into our pan. These are already starting to smell great. I'm gonna move that oil around just a little bit to get underneath all the scallops. Watch that your pan doesn't get too hot. Mmm, this smells wonderful. And we have the most beautiful sea scallops at Harris Teeter. They are just coming in great this time of year. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sear them on both sides pretty quickly and I'm gonna turn them so the ones that I put on the pan first might even be ready to turn now. Now just a little bit longer. I'm gonna turn down my rice a little bit now that we've got a boil. And I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric to that rice. It's gonna give a nice contrast to the color of the scallops and the rice. These scallops are looking great. Ones in the center aren't quite ready yet. The ones around the edge are looking fabulous. Just move them around on the eye a little bit if you get it starting to get a few hot spots in your pan. Sure you get underneath them with the spatula so that you're not leaving your caramelization of the scallops in the pan. Once we have them seared on both sides, we're gonna remove them and then we're gonna to start to glaze our pan and make our sauce. It just takes a few minutes and having your ingredients properly prepared. Once I have my scallops seared and you can see how nice and golden brown they are, I'm gonna remove them to a plate and then I'm gonna deglaze my pan and get ready to make the sauce to finish this dish. The coconut 
in the rice, the jasmine rice, the scallops. This kitchen is smelling great. Remember, don't overcook your scallops either. Most people tend to overcook their scallops. If you overcook, they get a little tough on you. But if you keep them nice and tender, almost a medium rare, uh, they are just fabulous and moist. I like to keep mine so they're still a little translucent on the inside. And then as they sit on the rice, they'll, they'll finish up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my lemongrass, get a little bit more of that to the rice, my leeks, and my chilies, and I'm going to let them saute a little bit. And then I'm going to deglaze this whole pan with some of our Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. Remember, the pan is going to be hot. Step back when you pour it and just let it pour away from you so that you don't get burned or splattered on. Just going to get some of that glaze off the bottom, the fond off the bottom of the pan here. I'm just going to let that come up to a boil. And while that's happening, I'm going to take some of my cold Sauvignon Blanc, the Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc, and mix it with some of my cornstarch. This is going to be my tightener for my sauce. And then I'm going to add this right to the pan along with some coconut milk. Oh, this looks great and smells even better. And as you can see, as it's coming to a boil, it's, everything's happening really quickly. Tighten it up nicely for us. I'm going to add the scallops back to this pan in just a few seconds. Remember, with a cornstarch, all you have to do is bring it to a boil Reduce it to a simmer and just let it simmer for about a minute in order to cook that starchy flavor out. And now I'm just going to take the scallops and add them right back to it. Oh, doesn't that look great? At this point, I can turn it off. Just take some of that sauce and put it up over the top. And there we are, lemongrass scallops. How's our rice doing? Our rice is looking pretty good, too. It still needs just a few more minutes. All right, it looks like our rice is finish, finished up. Looks perfect. I'm going to take a chiffonade of... Uh, herbs, cilantro, and mix it in. And then we're going to plate it up over here. Oh, this smells fabulous. And once again, you can plate this for an individual or you can do a family style service, which I'm doing right here. And then I'm going to finish it with our scallops. Scallops look beautiful. They turned out great. And the spice from the chilies is going to be perfect with this. And as you can see, that butter's melting nicely into everything. The aromas are just wonderful. And there we go. Beautiful sea scallops accompanied by a great Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. Enjoy.